Did you know that just listening to music at home on your own can help you improve your speech, your language, and your cognition if you're recovering from a stroke or a brain injury, or if you're living with Parkinson's disease? Listening to music might be something that you do every day anyway, hopefully so. I encourage you too to have it be something upbeat and fun, something that will raise your spirits and your mood in addition to being helpful. And I'm gonna offer you a challenge today, so I hope you'll stay with me. So I wanna offer you a challenge to listen to a piece of music for five days in a row. Songs aren't that long. A lot of them are only two or three minutes long, so it's not something that'll take a lot of time, but it could make a big difference for you. And this is a good way to sort of build in a new habit that could, uh, could be really a good thing. Let me start first by telling you that my name is Kirsten and I facilitate Beyond High C online group video classes for brain injury and stroke survivors and for people with Parkinson's. And those are classes that people do from their own devices in their own homes. Now, I would like to jump right to the study that I am referring to today, and then we're going to do just a quick, easy beat finding exercise you can do along with me. I'm going to listen for the beat, and then I'm going to play the beat along on my handy little drum here, and you can just join in with me at home. That way, when you're doing your challenge, your five days, one song a day challenge, you can make it an active exercise where you can be moving your body and getting even more benefit. So here comes the study. This is a study from 2010 and there have been uh, more recent studies too, but uh, this one was in the Journal of Cognitive Neuroscience. And this is the abstract and it will be linked below this video in the description. So you can uh, click that link and go over to um, to the website and read this for yourself. I will just point out a quick thing. This is just a blown up version of what you just saw. And I have two things underlined for a reason. So verbal memory is something that I think is important to us. Now I'm not a speech therapist or a music therapist and I needed to look up what verbal memory is because I'm a singing teacher with a master's degree in voice pedagogy all about the teaching of singing and technique and breathing and that sort of thing. And uh, focused attention, I underlined, because 100% of survivors that I've spoken with and that I work with say that attention, memory, and focus are things that they are actively wanting to improve. So here is the definition that I found for verbal memory. So it's a term used in cognitive psychology and refers to the memory of words and other abstractions involving language. A lot of the brain injury and stroke survivors that I talk with and work with, this is something they also want to improve, particularly if they have aphasia, of course. What we're going to do now is I'm just going to play three, um, three short little uh, pieces of music, uh, snippets of those, and I'm going to find the beat, and then I'm going to play the beat, and I encourage you to do that along with me at your house. Now, I have a handy little drum here. If you have, if you have a drum, cool, or you could um, use anything you want to as a drum, or you could beat on your desk, your table, you could pat your leg. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to add something else. I've talked in a previous video, and I'm sure I'm going to talk again about crossing the midline, cross-body um, movement and exercise. And that is very good and helpful for cognition with brain injury and stroke. So I'm just going to add that in. I'm going to hit my drum, and then I'm going to move my hand over to my lap on the other side. So I'm crossing this midline here. I encourage you to do that with me, too. All right, so let's get into these three short exercises. Uh, they're not exercises, they're pieces of music, and we're going to do a little keeping the beat with them. That's all. Very simple. Here comes the first one.
little tune. I've used it in a few videos. Okay, here comes the next one. Uh, be a little bit different, exactly the same idea. Cross your midline for extra benefit. I was going to tell you, but I wanted to be sure I was on the beat if I did, that with a little bit slower tempo like that, it can be a little bit harder to hear the beat and to stay in time with the beat because there, are more, there is more space in between. So if you move your body a little bit in the space between those larger beats, usually it's easier, I find, to find it. Here comes a faster tempo, though, so get ready for that. makes me want to get up and swing dance. So I could probably listen to it all day. That's just a simple quick idea. You don't have to. You don't have to keep a beat or a tap along or anything. The research um, for the purpose of this video is simply saying just listening to the music alone can help improve your speech and language and cognition. But why not? If you're going to take this challenge, which I hope you do, uh, why not make it an active listening exercise? If you go over to the website at beyondhighc.com slash study session six, you can get the listening log I made for you to do this five day challenge. And it has a couple of little questions at the bottom, nothing too serious, but something to hold you accountable and hopefully make you look forward to, uh, to completing. Um, every day for five days and I would love 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 it if you would drop me an email there or you could go on to the Beyond High C Facebook page or make a comment here and tell me how did it go was it easy to stay with was it easy to remember to do it was it easy to keep the beat along hear the beat as it was going by mm -hmm. I encourage you too to please comment on this video and let me know how is your rhythm do you think you have good rhythm? Do you think beat finding is simple, a little bit tricky, easy to stick with or not? I'm, I'm interested in knowing that. And if you found this video and this exercise helpful, I hope you'll give this video a like. And I encourage you to please subscribe to the channel so that when I put the next video here with the next piece of research and a helpful at-home exercise to go along with it, you'll know all about it.